Sumner from Learn to Paint Better again, and I have got another quick tip for you artists out there. I want to stress to you and emphasize to you the importance and the need for buying high quality paints. It must occur to all of us when we go and buy some paint, we can go into a, an art supply store, I'm going to hide the brand here, and I can buy a tube of red paint for $2.99. Let's just bear that in mind. And then at the same time, I could buy another brand of paint. I'll hide the brand. Well, actually I won't. It's the brand I use, Holbein, Heavy Body Acrylics. That tube is $22.85. Now, it begs the question, $22.85, $2.99. This is almost 10 times the price of that cheaper brand. Why the difference? Well, the difference is the concentration and the quality of the pigment. I have put a little bit of both paints here. On the right side, this is the cheaper economy brand. Just a, it's called a run-of-the-mill red. There's no real name for it. On this side, I have a heavy body cadmium red. This cadmium red is very powerful and highly staining. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my white and, and put it in here. And I'm going to just take the tiniest bit of that cadmium red on my brush tip and mix it in. And look at how quickly that tiny bit of paint turns that white into a deep pink. And that was the smallest amount of paint that I could use just at the very end. Now let's try the same test with that cheaper brand. I'll get another brush so I don't cross contaminate. So I've got a different brush here. I'll pick up a little bit of white again, put it out here, and I'll pick up the cheap brand of paint. And I actually picked up more paint than I did the first time. Look at the difference in strength of color. This is very intense. This is washed out. I'll even put in more in there and see if I can get even close. So that was quite a bit of paint that time. And I'm a little bit darker now. But I needed a lot more of that cheap pigment to get a stain that had as much weight as that little tiny bit of cadmium red. Now it's the cadmium that's in the pigment that makes it so strong and so staining. Why is this important? It's important because I'm sure we've all had the experience where we had a favorite picture or print or reproduction that we had hanging on the wall and we put it up and we were really happy with it but five years later something had gone wrong. It had bleached out. The sunlight, the ambient light, had actually bleached out those pigments because the pigments uh, were washed out by the sun, the UV rays of the sun. That's why we want to have a really strong, intense pigment in our paintings. This little study here I painted in 2005. So I painted this study, this is 2019, August 2005, so this is just over 14 years old. And I want to show you the strength of the pigment. This is just as bright as the day I painted it. And the reason it's just as bright as the day I painted it is because I used a heavy body, good quality pigment. That is cadmium red that's been there for 14 years. So cadmium red, as opposed to cheap $2.99 store bar, generic red, has staying power that this will not have. And this will fade. You can see the strength wasn't there even in the mix. This will fade over time. And your painting will lose its vibrancy. If you want your paintings to last, you want to use high quality, heavy body pigment. If you look closely, I'm going to cover the brand, it says Cadmium Red Hue at $2.99. This 
is pure cadmium red, meaning this looks like cadmium red, this is cadmium red. $2.99, $22.85. My favorite brand, the one I use, Holby. And you can buy all of those in the links below. I hope you like my video and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now. John from Learn to Paint Better.